going to the headlines. Uh, there was some huge news out of Washington, D.C. this morning. President Trump's former campaign manager, Paul Manafort, has been indicted by the FBI and faces 12 different charges in connection with the Russia investigation. Now, there's talk that Manafort didn't really get it. When the FBI showed up at his door, he handed out candy and was like, and who are you supposed to be? <laughs> and who are you supposed to be? Uh, now... This wasn't a surprise to anyone who's ever listened to Manafort speak over the last 12 months. Take a look at his answer when he was asked about Trump's Russia ties in July 2016. So, to be clear, Mr. Trump has no financial relationships with any Russian oligarchs. That, that's what he said. I, I, that's what I said. That's obviously what the, the opposition is. <laughs> that's, that's what, I, that's what it, it, it... doesn't sound guilty at all. I mean... Do we really need the FBI in all this? I feel like my six-year-old would watch that video and go, yeah, that guy's lying. <laughs> now, after the child charges were announced, Trump responded by tweeting, sorry, but this is years ago, before Paul Manafort was part of the Trump campaign, but why aren't crooked Hillary and the Dems the focus? Now, Trump says it was years ago, but this was still occurring in 2016 which means even Donald Trump can't believe that Donald Trump has only been in office for a handful of months. <laughs> also, Crooked Hillary and the Dems, I know there's larger issues here, but I just want to say, Crooked Hillary and the Dems is a pretty amazing name for a band, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. No, they're the best. I I'd go see them. Yes. I'm Crooked Hillary, these are the Dems. Are you ready to rock, San Antonio? <laughs> It was a guitar solo. <laughs> it was clearly a guitar solo. <laughs> now, he, now, what he's trying to do with all these tweets, he, he's trying to put it off on Hillary, right? You can't get investigators off your case by simply telling them to investigate someone else. Like, that would be like if I got arrested for murder and my entire defence was, hey, you know who else you should take a look at? O.J. Simpson. <laughs> the same. <laughs> Meanwhile, over the weekend, a woman made headlines after flipping off Donald Trump's motorcade as it passed by her while she was cycling. Uh, we've got a photo of it here. Look at that. <laughs> nice to see Hillary getting some exercise, isn't it? <laughs> Moving on, it was recently announced that former President Barack Obama has been summoned for jury duty next month in Illinois, and he plans to serve. Yeah? So it looks like two presidents will be spending some time in a courtroom real soon. <laughs> uh, but people are shocked that he's going to jury duty, and I'm like, of course Obama's going to do jury duty. How would he get out of it? What's he going to say? Oh, I've got to go to work. He's the most famous unemployed person on the planet. <laughs> And finally, did you guys see this? Uh, a controversy erupted on Twitter over the weekend after a user pointed out that Google's cheeseburger emoji places the cheese underneath the burger while Apple puts it on top. <laughs> People are freaking out about this. This isn't a controversy. Cheese goes on the top of the burger. I moved here two and a half years ago. It was the first thing I learned when I got to America. <laughs> they tell you at the airport. They're like, you're moving here? I am. Cheese is on top. OK, well done. <laughs> on you go. Now, in response, Google's CEO tweeted, we'll drop everything else we are doing and address <laughs> on Monday if folks can agree on the correct way to do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny there was some kind of way for Google to look up how to make a cheeseburger. <laughs> I don't know. Some kind of website that lets you just search for stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem like a big deal, but pretty, people are pretty upset about this. In fact, here's a photo of Google's CEO driving into work this morning. 